Hello, Gary Crowley here with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and today we're going to show you a do-it-yourself shin splints treatment and we're going to have three videos to show you how to do that and uh, in this first video we basically want to show you how to release the, the two main culprits when it comes to shin splints and that is your the muscles basically on either side of your shin bone, your tibialis anterior and your tibialis posterior. Anterior just means front, posterior just means back. And um, we're going to start with your tibialis posterior. And basically what you want to do is first just take your fingertips and press, come in from your, here's your shin bone, come in from your shin bone a little bit and press into that soft tissue right along your shin bone, probably where you're most likely feeling the shin splint pain and notice where it's tender. Okay, uh, basically uh, tender tissue or tissue that's painful when you press on it means that that tissue around there is too tight and if we release it then your shin splints can can often just go away. So we're gonna do um, after you notice where it's tender um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my thumbs I like using my thumbs in, on this muscle here because it's just easy to get on get in there you kind of grab the your leg and then press in there with your thumb and anywhere it's tender, we're going to do a press-pull release technique. And I show you all these techniques on the techniques page. But basically, you're working with your tissue like it's clay. You're pressing on a tender spot, you're pulling, and then you're releasing, you're pressing, you're pulling, you're releasing. And you do that kind of quickly, maybe a half second pull, quarter second pull release. And that basically tells your brain it needs to release that tissue that it is keeping so tight. Now. Uh, a little thing I also will do is I'll take my other thumb and I will press on top of this thumb that's pressing into my tissue just to give me a little more pressure, take a little of the work off this thumb. And when I do that, I can get in there just the perfect amount. It's, it's deep and I feel it, but I can still relax into it. And that's basically what you want. And then you can do some press pull release, uh, get what you can, and then you can do some press hold move where you stay pressed in one spot and you make that muscle function under under your pressure. And you can just go up and down doing some some uh, press hold move and your your tibialis posterior basically does that motion with your foot. So you can either do that motion or you can press with one thumb and make your hand do that motion. But basically you want to feel the muscle moving under your pressure here. And again here's my shin bone. I'm just right on the inside of that. And you basically go probably the bottom two-thirds all the way down to here. If it's tight, you will feel it. And as you do this, it can be tender, but you will probably feel it releasing. And when you get as much as you can out of that after a few minutes of doing it, um, then we're going to come over here and do your tibialis anterior. And again, this is just the one right on the, the outside front of your shin. And on this one, I like to do more of our standard um, press hold move. Uh, and press pull release but using my fingertips and what I call the hand on hand technique that I show you on the techniques page. So first we'll do our uh, press pull release where you feel down, feel along, just get a, a, a notion of where the tender spots are and then you find one, you just press pull release and I'm just pressing with my palm onto my fingertips which are pressing into the tissue and you find when you get that palm pressing in there you can get some nice pressure that you just, this is a lot, this is a strong muscle. So that extra pressure goes a long way. And basically, you press pull release, press pull release just to get things going a little bit. And then on this muscle in particular, I really like a press hold move. I even lean back a little, get my, my fingertips on a tender spot, my palm pressing on those fingertips. And then I press hold move. And then I move to another spot make that muscle function under my pressure. I'm not massaging. Massage is not going to get this to release. Press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release. I'm sorry, press, hold, move, press, hold, move, press, hold, move. And um, now I personally like doing that because uh, I can be nice and specific with my fingertips, but I also realize that I do this for a living. My hands are used to doing it. So with this big, strong muscle, sometimes a tennis ball, or even a lacrosse ball um, will also help. I prefer a tennis ball. And basically what you're gonna do, some people will hold it and, and do this. Personally, 
I'd rather use my fingertips if I'm going to bother doing that. But if you want to use your body weight to get in here, what you do is you put this tennis ball, you put this tennis ball down on a, a surfing with, surface with a bit of a cushion, and then you just take this, this muscle and you find your tender spot and you use your body weight, whatever amount of weight is appropriate, and then you move that foot up and down and you'll feel that muscle move under you. Then you move to another spot after that, let's go. And I can put a lot of body weight, I can put less body weight, whatever you're comfortable with, but you do a press hold move with that all the way up and down your shin, like there's a tender spot for me. I do that and there it goes, it releases. And you can just do that on your whole shin. So you can do the press hold move with tennis ball, you can do the press hold move with your fingertips, and then again over on this tibialis posterior I recommend, I personally like my thumbs, and I do one thumb press, one thumb pressing into the tissue, the other thumb pressing on the thumb, and that gets me some nice pressure as I press hold move, I can press pull release, and I can also make that foot move with my other hand if this is a little difficult move for you while I press in there. Uh, the other thing, before we move on to video two, is with shin splints, doing this is fantastic, and also icing is really effective uh, with shin splints. A lot of times, really, you just want a lot of blood flow there to bring down the inflammation. So after you do this, feel free to either slap an ice pack on there for 12 to 15 minutes, or take a, uh, an ice cup and just rub it on that, those shin splints for, for 12 to 15 minutes, and that can also just be fantastic for getting rid of them. So that's, uh, that's uh, video one of releasing the basically muscle attachment inflammation and um, just assess how much that helped and then I will see you at video two. Thank you very much.